Welcome to ClickData's interactive classroom, where you and I will go through the basics in Access for Microsoft Office 2003. Access is a database creation tool. What it's all about is Access. You'll have the database, and this tool is about how a database you make gets, well, accessed. And so the name. We want to familiarize you with how to handle this powerful database tool to show you how it works and what functions are most useful, as well as how you can create and structure the databases in a Windows environment. It's relatively easy to create databases with this tool, and we'll give you the necessary skills for this in this course. The aim is to give you the knowledge you'll need, which is suited as much to your work habits as possible. So, in this section, let's have a look at Access for Office and see how tables, queries and forms are constructed and how they work. A good place to start with is how you establish a database and how the program works in general. This so that you can get started right away in using Access and see what applies to the working environment and then acquaint yourself with the basic functions, as well as tables, forms and queries. When you've gotten a good overview of Access, we'll spend a little more time looking at the most important areas in some more detail. Here, we'll take a good look at tables and how to establish a solid foundation so that you can firmly build your data structure. You create tables from various data types and import data that is finalized and make links which are known as relations. When there's enough database tables, you can choose to sort and filter the information in them that is most important to you at that particular moment. You do this by posing questions, or as we call them, query the database, or by making filters all of which we'll see in Chapter 3. You're going to perform data searches and do summaries of them in fields, connect tables to the queries and even learn how to pose more advanced queries called cross-querying. We'll see how and why doing this is so useful. Chapter 4 deals with forms. You'll create the graphical view, which will be, in itself, a link between the regular user and your own information that is stored in tables. Through, of course, the use of forms. The third and last of the main functionality of Access is gone over in Chapter 5. This is Reports. Now, reports are used when you want to summarise, present, or write out database content or even send it as a digital document. We'll analyse the different areas reports consist of, so that you can adapt them to your company's profile. In this sixth and final chapter of the course, we're going to do some hands-on work with Access. Making security copies of data is covered, and how databases can be shared between others who have been granted the appropriate authorization and so that you can go further on your own after this course, we'll show you where you can get more help in how to create, as well as maintain, your database. As you can hear, there's lots to do. Let's start at once. Welcome to the course. Now we'll open a database. We go to File, and the dialog box open. In Part 1 of Examples, Environment, I open Library. Now, it's important to remember that each time I go to open a database, a security warning pop-up shall appear. This is nothing to be alarmed about. It asks if it is a secure database code, and it usually is. Uncertainty means you cancel. More information will guide you further. I'm sure of this database. I made it and I'm refining it, so I open. 
This dialog box always appears upon open. This important dialog gives you the different views of your database, in our case, library. Those of you already familiar with Microsoft Office will certainly recognize the menus and toolbars that come standard with this product. In view, go to toolbars and click on those you need. The little gold colored label means that the toolbar is on, in this case the database toolbar. If I now go into the forms view of the library database, I see that another toolbar appears. I right click on it and see that the toolbar on right now is being counted and filed. So keep an eye on the different buttons and what toolbars will appear depending on what you choose to open. There's the cross out in red, standard with all dialogues in Microsoft and I click it off. This to close when I'm done working in a certain place. You can maximize the view of a window if you want it enlarged. This small button here, if clicked on, restores the window to an earlier size. I can move down the different toolbars by pulling them out of the toolbar area and releasing them like this. That is, if I want to have the database toolbar as its own window and be able to move it around, or fasten it to the left side like this, or back into the toolbar area above like this. If you wish to remove the blue outlook of all the windows in your database, you first minimize the access application like so, and then right click on the mouse for properties. There's a tab in here called appearance. Go to windows and buttons and then ask for another style and another color scheme. How about olive green? There's how it looks in preview. But we can click on apply to check it out on your screen. I then maximize the application and now see that it has changed the bars and background to the olive green color pattern. But I'll hide this for a bit and go back into appearance and reselect my old default blue pattern and OK it. And the colors have been restored to the earlier choice.